Hello everyone, welcome back to Tech Zulu Live from New Media Expo. I am Amanda Kulong and I am here with Philip Nelson of New Tech who has our TriCaster off camera. If you don't know what a TriCaster is, that's helping make all of this possible. So you guys rock. You know, TriCaster really is taking over television and web TV. Yeah. You know, we're now the number one switcher in the world. Really? That's Sony's awesome. Sony's number two. Yeah, TriCaster's taking it over. And, you know, uh, we did some uh, surveys of our new tech customers recently, yeah. and we found out that our customers are doing over 60,000 hours of content a week. Wow. A week. 60,000 a week and 40,000 of that's live. Everyone is talking about how much more content is being produced now. It's like suddenly, I mean, everyone from, from you guys to um, the International Academy of Web Television mm -hmm. is talking about how many people are, are submitting things now and the numbers are just growing. So, I mean, where do, where do you think this is stemming from? How, are we literally like on this upward climb now? Well, you know, it, it really is all about delivering content where people want to watch it. Yeah. You know, there was a time, and look at the newspaper business, yeah. they didn't adapt. You know, they wanted you to read their newspaper every day, and so they kept printing these newspapers, and eventually people <laughs> don't want to read the newspaper, they want to go yeah. to the web. And so there's a, an insatiable demand for content, and now there is no gatekeeper. So before, before the internet television revolution, if you wanted to make a show, you had to know somebody with a television station or a cable network or make vi videotapes or DVDs and mail them out to people. But now with, you know, very uh, affordable live streaming, you know, uh, content delivery networks, mm -hmm. great shows can be made and then the audience determines if they're valuable. Right. right. And so a lot of this content is being done live now, you say. Yeah. Well, you know, the thing about live is some people want to be on the bleeding edge. They want to know know things as it happens. It's like when those miners were trapped down in South America. Oh, yeah. How many people sat there and watched that live webcast for 24 hours? Yeah. They want to see, they really, uh, this is horrible to say, but they wanted to see the, the horrible side. You know, and then. Rubbernecking online. No, it is. It really is. <laughs> but, you know, the thing is, is that's people want to be part of that live moment. Yeah. And what's really cool is you do an event live, like we're here at, at uh, New Media Expo, mm -hmm. you're streaming live. People can see us acting silly before. And I did not know we were streaming, so thanks for telling me. But, I have uh, no idea what you're talking I about, Philip. Working in live, I should know better. It's always <laughs> on. But, you know, the thing is, is people are watching this right now. You're making a live show, but then after the fact, you can cut these clips up and now make the cut-up clips available on demand. So you have... A cut-up clip of Philip doing this. That's Sorry. It's called blackmail video. Please do not post that. <laughs> Efren, Efren. <laughs> All right, we have a viral hit. No. Yes, we do. Go ahead. No, but I'm just saying it is an exciting time because there is no gatekeeper anymore. Shows can be made and it's up to you and the audience to determine if it's worth continuing. Sure. And and you know, and then you also have that on-demand audience after the fact. So, yeah. and and then technologies like TriCaster allow you to do that very yeah. very easily. Yeah. For those people who are new to new media, mm -hmm. um, explain what a TriCaster is. Well, TriCaster, basically everybody's probably seen the giant TV truck that's behind a stadium or at a concert. Well, we've taken that giant TV truck and shrunk it down into a little box about this big. It's a good way of putting it. it really, it's, it's a little box. True. You can plug in multiple cameras. Yep add in graphics, roll in video clips, mm -hmm. do green screen, virtual sets, right. and then it can, the name TriCaster actually comes from the fact that it can broadcast to three things at once. Mm -hmm. It can broadcast to television, it can broadcast to the web and to digital signage, so you can go out to LED screens or yeah. projectors. And the, you know, when we designed TriCaster, we wanted to democratize live TV. Because in the mid-80s, the owner of New Tech was quoted, he said, in the next 20 years, your favorite TV show will be made by you or someone you know. And look how close we are. He, you know, it's been about Aren't 30 we years. There? Are we there? Are we there? You know, we, we kind of are. I mean, it's, yeah. it's that long tail TV that, you know, your, your viewing experience online is almost curated by your friends. Yeah. You know, it's like, oh, well, watch this webcast and all your friends go there. Yeah. And so, but when we designed the TriCaster, we wanted to make live TV portable. Mm -hmm. affordable and easy to do right. because we knew that the, the the future of internet television wasn't in the guys that are in those giant trucks right. it's people who've never even been in the giant trucks that could never afford to even look at a giant truck but they have a great idea so the ease of use of the TriCaster allowing people with about 30 minutes of training to be a live broadcaster was very very important for mm -hmm. us you know, I, I can speak to it you know we obviously use TriCaster and I went to school where we learned about the truck 
right. and how to operate everything in that truck. And it is amazing to see how it literally, that was a great analogy, shrinking that truck down into this one box. And, and I mean, we can drive it out here from LA to Las Vegas and we've got it set up off camera over here. And I have Efren, my business partner, who's operating that piece right there. I mean, it's, it's insane how, how easy it makes it, how affordable it is. And, and it's a great example of the really, really big, hefty technologies that, that have been shrunk down and democratized things. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it's sort of indicative of everything else I'm seeing here at New Media Expo, where you've got lots of things that are doing that, from mobile apps that make it easy for you to shoot video, right. to photo apps, obviously, the deluge of photo apps right. that make it easy for anyone to take some decent photos. I mean, across the board, we're democratizing our content production. You know, the gatekeepers are gone. Yeah. They really are, and it's all about good ideas being mm -hmm. successful. You know, it, it is a fun time. You know, and the other thing that, that's happening and a trend that's really happening now is there was a time when streaming was a novelty. Yeah. It was kind of a nice to have. Right. Now it's a it's a must have. Mm -hmm. And there's an entire group of people that go to the web. They call the internet second screen. Yeah. But to a lot of people, it's first screen. Yeah. I mean, I know. They don't my, have cable. My kids. You know, I have I have a litter of children, and uh, they 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 go to the iPad before they turn on the television, yeah. and so to to that generation, streaming is the first screen, right. and that's something that's got to as content creators come up with ideas for shows. One of the important aspects of TriCaster and why TriCaster has been so successful is telling a good story is is one piece, but it has to look like TV, right. and that's where we come in. Is we allow it to look like broadcast television because you know my kids they don't know what. A, a video switcher is and they don't know what a DSK is and they don't yeah. know what all these things are but they do know when something looks like TV or when it looks like um, early days of YouTube with a yeah. camcorder yeah. handheld in, in a dorm room you know so you know it's, it, it's a professional show with professional message and professional content needs to look like TV so when is TriCaster going to shrink down even more get even smaller well, and even more mainstream for someone like my mom will that ever happen I'm not sure. You know, <laughs> hey, it's, it's my like, mom's a smart you know, lady. There's free software right now you can get on your computer to to have mom TV. You know, and and where we focus is for professional creators sure. that want to be on the web. Yep. You know, but uh, you know, it's uh, but you know that's actually we're there today. I mean, yeah. you know, through UStream and techno in their software, you can you can exactly. be streaming or even Google Hangouts. Yep. I mean, you she, your mom could do a Google Hangout. She does. Does she really? Mm. What is the topic? Well, no, she does them with me. Oh, okay. I was like, hi, hi, <laughs> mom. I mean, and we I'm could here to have mom too. About raising kids. Actually, she's thought about doing one about ask me anything you want about Amanda. I'm like, no, it's don't the, do that. It's blackmail Amanda, the webcast. <laughs> I, I will join her on that one. I mean, as it is, she already has her own fan base on my Facebook page. That's so, awesome. <laughs> welcome to the Internet Television Revolution. God help me. I'm Amanda's mom. That's her new T-shirt. <laughs> I think you've started something. Thanks, Philip. Oh, hey, she doesn't, she doesn't need encouragement. <laughs> Mom, if you're watching, give me a call. I'll help you get this started. <laughs> From the wilds of Western Maine. <laughs> yeah, this is good. Seriously. You know, they have all these shows about, you know, the fishermen off the coast of Maine, and they've got something about game wardens or something, some show about that. I'm like, wow, they could actually have some show about my family back in a tiny little village in Maine and what life is really like back there. I'm in. I'm, I'm going to be your first <laughs> fan. I'm the president of the fan club. But you know, that, but that goes back to the whole concept of the long tail and why internet television is so, is so uh, prolific right, right now is you don't have to have six million viewers to yeah. make something successful anymore yeah. because of the cost being reduced so much yeah. with technologies like the TriCast or even free technologies right. and bandwidth being cheap. Mm -hmm. And ideas being a plenty, <laughs> you know, we, you yeah. know, lo you you can have a show with a couple thousand viewers and be successful on the web. Yeah, and have and truly have niche content, niche market, and make money from it. I want to I, I, look at Efren. I know who can't I'm look at Efren. Kidding. I mean, look, look at that guy. You know, you got to like push people away from him here. Like he's 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 the hair. I'm the face. 
I, I agree with that. <laughs> Actually, I'm just a really big mouth. <laughs> well, you know, it's, it's, I, I'm excited for what you guys are doing here at Tech Zulu. I mean, you know, I, I, if, if the people at home that are watching, I mean, literally, we're set up on a small folding table yeah. streaming from a trade show floor. You know, another exciting part of live streaming is, is not necessarily content that's intended for mass consumption. Right. You know, it's, it's uh, corporate streaming. Mm -hmm. where you have a CEO that wants to speak to a thousand employees in his right. company and you don't want to fly people into a big corporate meeting mm -hmm. or you have trade shows that are being streamed and a really cool example is Yamaha it's mm -hmm. a worldwide recognized brand yep. uh, you know and, and at NAM, the big music trade show they have a hundred thousand or so people that might come through their booth well they'll have half a million people online watching mm -hmm. their presentations of music instrument releases so yeah. where in an industry where um, you know the owners of music stores may travel to the show but they don't bring all their employees that the owner can say hey they're about to launch a new saxophone go to yamaha.com and watch this webcast yeah. and so it really cu it cuts down your cost per lead mm -hmm. I mean there's so many important um, implementations for this type sure. of technology and enterprise. I mean, that's why we started doing this years ago um, with you guys, you know, because here at shows like New Media Expo, there are plenty of people that couldn't make it to Vegas. It's crazy to come here, you know, yeah. we've got lots of shows going on at the same time. People are busy, it's the beginning of the year, but they can hear from folks like you, they right. can hear from lots of the different authors, a lot of pe like people like Scott Monty with Ford Motor Company, right. to give some really great tips and, and have access to these speakers without actually having to be here, which is quite nice. You know, we've even seen it. We've seen that with the Department of Homeland Security. Yeah. You know, they have a division called the Science and Technology Directorate, and their job is to find technologies that will help firefighters or first responders, firefighters, um, EMTs, um, you know, or EMS, right. um, police. But once again, everybody's strained in the economy, so policemen don't have all the money to fly out to all these conferences. Mm -hmm. So they started doing a virtual version of the conference. So these this information that's very important for first responders to to learn that you can go to the conference and build those social interactions with people you meet there right. or you can watch it online and then chat with people yeah. so you have that important dialogue that you get from going to a conference as well online mm -hmm. see we're so smart we've been doing this for a while you together the leading edge i don't like that bleeding nah leading leading, leading edge maybe not bleeding leading okay no blood no blood here no at blood. tech zulu no blood i mean we got the we got the red and the black but we don't we don't need the blood We'll leave that to someone else. <laughs> Thank you so much, Philip. Is there anything else you want people to know about you and your armpit? Well. Uh, uh, no, thank you. No, if you'd like more information on New Tech or the TriCaster, you can check us out online at www, of course, dot n e w t e k dot com. Yep. And if you're trying to get online and you have some questions and you want to learn, you know, from the mistakes that I've seen people make, I'm happy to answer questions. So you can email me at philip, which is p h i l i p at n e w t e k dot com. Yeah, just one L, Philip one with L. one L, Philip, and he's very approachable. I mean, look at the guy. <laughs> but yes. New Tech has helped us, and TriCasters are amazing. So check them out at least. Look them up. Thank you.